Hello and welcome everyone to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about all of the weapons that you guys need to have upgraded and fully maxed out for Warzone 2 ahead of its release. We're going to be going over some weapon categories depending on your playstyle, so make sure to listen closely for the way that you play the game. Before we do hop in, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you do enjoy my content enough to stick around for more Call of Duty news, tips, as well as opinionated commentaries, commentaries, as well as guides, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers, and I cannot wait to hit it. So basically, just jumping right in to do this from the main menu of the game. It's going to be more of a laid-back kind of commentary today. Warzone 2, from what I've collected from the streamers that have played the game, as well as just different sources across the internet, different pros, different players that are getting adjusted to different types of play styles, like snipers, SMG players, rushers, aggressive players, ARs, is that the main consensus is that Warzone 2 is going to be very, very LMG heavy, which should be no surprise to anyone. The movement system is a lot more slowed down from MW19, which makes high round weapons with a ton of ammo, a decent amount of recoil control, pretty much paramount to the overall meta of the game. These things have a ton of ammo in them, and I definitely think they are going to shine in the beginning of Warzone 2 when players are basically holding down buildings and getting used to the map and taking on full-on body stack teams. I mean, people aren't going to want to run away from each other too much in this war zone, especially in the early days. They're, they're going to be a lot more scared and less comfortable than they were in war zone too. So tip number one, and you might not like this one, you have to basically max out this whole category. All of these LMGs, all six of them. There's no getting around this. I'm telling... For SMGs and all the other ones, I'm going to give you like one or two. You got to max out this whole thing. Uh, the number one that I've heard from Jgod is the Raw MG apparently is going to be a force to be reckoned with. And it is the, I think it's the highest level SMG in the whole category or sorry, LMG in the whole category. So put up the Raw MG whenever you got a chance. This one is pretty good to improve and put up. It's got really good fire rate. It's got a pretty decent amount of ammunition and you can customize it to your liking. Now, going into the rest of these LMGs, just kind of my guesses of the most popular ones that you should kind of mess with, the MG38, the HCR56, which is part of the Bruin Bullpup weapon platform, and the RPK and Rap H are probably going to be a mixed bag but those ones are going to bounce around a little bit more. So I'm going to gravitate towards the RAL, the HCR, and the MG38. All right, so let's start going into some assault rifles. For BR specifically, you're going to want to look for assault rifles that are very consistent, especially at range, offer a decent amount of ammunition inside of the pool, and also on top of that have really good damage outputs. As of right now, at the game at launch, the M4 is going to be the first gun you max out, or most people, it should be the first gun that you max out. So I would 100% prioritize the M4 being that first assault rifle. It's just a good all-around weapon. This might not be ideal for super long ranges, but it is a well-balanced weapon. The TAC-56 in pretty mixed with. This one is going to be very wobbly, so this I would put as second priority. This should be the second one that you level up. And just going down the categories, guys, you're not going to unlock these for a while. Now, the most important assault rifles, I'll just cut to the chase, is going to be the 74U, the STB-556, as well as the M4. These weapons are super powerful right now. And uh, I just, the cast off 74 use G8 and competitive, the competitive players won't even touch it. I'm pretty sure the 556 is also on its way there to getting banned and competitive. This thing is just way too good. It's like a cross between an AR and an SMG. So I wouldn't be surprised if players run an STB 556 with an LMG at the start of Warzone. This thing is nuts. It's really mobile. It's really good. It's crazy, guys. It's a crazy, crazy gun. And then, of course, we have the M4, as I've said before, very balanced. On to battle rifles. To be completely honest with you guys, I do not see BRs or marksman rifles being super popular in the meta. If there was one marksman rifle or battle rifle that I would recommend that you guys level up, it's going to be the TAC V. It's very good. It's got an insane headshot multiplier. It's got a decent stockpile. The recoil control is not too far away. So that's the only battle rifle that I would recommend you guys level up. Now for the moment most of you have been waiting for, the SMG category. So as of right now, I would personally level up the Fennec, the Miniback, the Veznev 9K, and the Lockman. 
These are pretty much the four best SMGs in the game. The Hurricane's a good middle ground for multiplayer right now, but in a battle royale scenario, these four are super mobile. They're super reliable and overall just great SMGs to have in your pocket for super close range gunfights. The MX-9 is a good in-between and honestly, I think the VEL-46 is just not there. The MP7 has kind of been neutered in this game. They, they really, they killed my boy in uh, Modern Warfare 2. It just doesn't hit the same that it used to in MW3 and MW19. I wish it hit as hard. Maybe in an update we'll see it change, but... This one's just not as important to level up, and I know I don't have all of these leveled up right now, but I've seen the weapon and I've experimented a lot with these weapons, and just looking at gameplay, the Fennec is ridiculous, the mini back is absolutely nuts, the Vesnav 9K is just, this This gun's nuts, and the Lockman's just a good all-around SMG. It's the MP5, basically if you're a laid back or kind of a newer player to the franchise or somebody who just isn't as good, this is just super reliable. You're gonna love any MP5 in any COD. Now, in terms of shotguns, I haven't messed with these yet, but just looking at these, the Bryson 800 and the Bryson 890, they both have fire rounds, if I stand corrected. Once again, I have not used shotguns, so I would recommend leveling up the Bryson 800 or the Bryson 890, depending on which one you like, because they do have fire breath rounds. The Lockwood 300 only has two different, uh, or it only has two bullets per mag, so if it's as overpowered as it was when Warzone launched, then maybe this will be good for you. But in the shotgun category, just for consistency sake and pissing people off, the fire breath rounds on these two are going to be ideal. Now, sniper rifles. This is a big one. Luckily, you won't have to do much progression. I have basically seen across a lot of snipers that the most consistent all-around sniper in the game uh, credit to Bartonologist is the MCPR 300 and there is a blueprint that you got I believe this one was from watching Twitch Prime this is a pretty decent blueprint but overall the MCPR 300 is going to be one of the weapons that you're going to want to level up for Warzone the Signal 50 will be a close second but the bullet drop on a 50 caliber is a bit much uh, especially from what I've seen in earlier gameplay so I would use the MCPR 390 and you can experiment with what you like from the 330 and the X80. You can choose the second one. But top priority is this MCPR 300. I think this is going to be super duper meta when the game comes out. In terms of secondaries, it's Warzone. You're not really going to use secondary pistols. I don't know why you wouldn't use Overkill. But let's say there's a world where Overkill just doesn't exist. My guess is the X13 Auto or the P890. The X13 Auto is basically the Renetti if you do it the correct way. I've seen loadouts where you have like 50 round drums and a Kimbo. So if you want to use the classic like Warzone loadout where you have your Ghost class and you use like a Renetti secondary with a ton of ammo in it, then the X13 Auto with the 50 round drums is the way to go. And then other than that, the P890 is just a great all around pistol. And I just love using the Deagle in multiplayer, but I don't think this is going to pack much of a punch in Warzone 2. So basically, just to put things down, Warzone 2 is going to be a lot slower of a battle royale where LMGs seem like they're going to be king. So in priority, Raw MG, most important one to level up right now, HCR 56 and the MG 38 are close seconds and thirds for LMGs. Onto Assault Rifles, you're going to have the M4 maxed down anyways when you play the game. It's just natural progression. The STB 556 could be a secondary contender as it is a good middle ground between an Assault Rifle and a submachine gun. The 74U is very overpowered in multiplayer right now. So if this does not get nerfed, then I could see it being very good in Warzone as well. Battle Rifles, I do not think these are going to be meta. However, the TAC V is the best one right now. SMGs. We're going to go with the Lockman Sub, the Vaznev 9K, the Mini Back, and the Fennec 45. Hurricane is a good middle ground. If it's something you like, who knows how that'll perform in Warzone. PDW, uh, or the P90, I should say specifically. I should probably just add this in. I don't think this one's going to be crazy, but uh, who knows. It, it, this is a lot of fun in multiplayer, by the way, guys. It's fun. But it's just not as powerful as some of these other SMGs in the game. They're nuts. Shotguns, the Bryson 800 or the Bryson 890 with fire breath rounds are probably going to be very powerful. And just as a warning, the Lockwood 300, if they do not nerf it or if it's anything like the actual 725 in Modern Warfare 2019, that's going to be super broken. Marksman rifles, once again... I don't think any of these are going to be meta. Honestly, 
you, you're going to want to use a sniper rifle inside of Warzone. It's just how it works. But if I had to guess, maybe the Lockwood, maybe the SAB-50. I just, I can't say that Marksman Rifles will be meta because you're going to want to have a sniper. With how slow this game is and how it works, this MCPR-300 is going to be your top priority. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Hopefully you can get these weapons leveled up before Warzone 2 drops because with loadouts coming back, these are going to be very, very important weapons to have to get into the game. Anyways, guys, with that being said, don't forget to like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.